Hi! So today I'll be showing you the light tool. Now the light tool is super useful for, well, lighting. Yeah. First, we open our dashboard, go to the inventory, then we go in our inventory to the folder Resonite Essentials, in there we go to Tools, and then this little orb here is our light tool. We click once, verify is in fact a light tool, double tap, and here we have it. We can either grab it, open our context menu, and then click equip, or we could click on it with our laser and click equip light tool. Now, currently, there's the sun shining in light from over there somewhere. That's not really great to show up lighting. So just open your context menu, go to sun mode, and in sun mode, just point over there, put down your trigger, and as you can see now, we're modifying where the sun is coming from. And we don't need it, so let's just put it down there. While you're in the sun mode here, it'll actually put the sun wherever you're pointing, and it'll point back at you. So if you point over there, the light will be going down here this direction. If you point over here, the light is going to come to this direction. Basically makes it very easy for you to position the sun in your world. But again, let's go down. And then, let's swap to point light. Now, point light is a really neat light because it just emits light all around it. The way that you make these lights is very simple. You simply hold your hand where you want to make the light, press down the trigger, and then you drag. And as you drag, you're defining the strength of the light. And that's how simple that is. This works the same way on all the types of lights, like the point lights and the spotlights. Now the difference between point lights and spotlights is that, as the name implies, if we point again and hold down the trigger and then drag, it just makes a spot. Light. <laughs> so, instead of being all around, it's just that direction. Now, next, if we go back to point lights, there's a mode here called No Shadows. Click it once, it sets it to Hard Shadows. Click it again, Soft Shadows. Now, this is just the options, how it casts shadows. For example, if we make a point light here, you'll see there's no shadows. I'm perfectly lit, and I'm not casting any shadows on the environment. This is the most efficient way of doing lights. Then, hard shadows. You see if I look down, there's a pretty solid shadow around me that I'm casting on the environment. However, the environment is also still lit. Also, if you look below me, I'm actually also, un uh, I'm also, also in shadow in the areas where I'm basically leaning over myself because I'm occluding the light. Now, hard shadows are similar. However, you'll find that the edges and everything like that about hard, uh, soft shadows are a lot nicer and prettier and they blend better together. However, they're also the most expensive type of shadows. Now, finally, we can do something really neat with lights. We can go here to change color. Then we can go to, for example, purple. And as you see, this lower appears is purple now. So if we click here and drag, we now have a little purple light. And on my metallic body, it's reflecting really nicely. However, I do like the kind of two-tone look. So let's change the color again. This time to the blue. Save. Now it's blue. So over here, we press trigger again. Pull. And there you go. Finally, one more. We'll put a still a blue light, but a bit darker. 
and that will go in the center right here and as you can see now we have a really neat lighting setup where we have purple light coming from this side reflecting off of the metallicness blue light coming from here reflecting off of the metallic and then a deeper blue coming from the front giving it some more toning that that's pretty much everything the only thing left is that if you have a color set, it also affects the sun. So now, we have a blue sun. Well, let's fix that. Now, let's go a bit darker. There we go. Now that's a really neat environment. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope this helps you with setting up lighting. If you have any ideas for what to do next, comment down below. If you like the video, like it. And I hope you have a nice day. Bye.